Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and this video is going to be about bioinformatics and this is going to be my sixth video in which I am explaining how to interpret dot plot results and uh, I already made videos about uh, what you can see on the pictures A, E, B, F, G, H and uh, D but uh, today I am also going to talk about picture D because here we have insertion and inversion and today I'm going to uh, explain how to interpret classical inversion. So, we, so the picture would be different but we're still talking about inversions and uh, you can uh, oftenly see such picture as this one. So how we can interpret such picture like this. And this is example of the classical inversion. So let me clean a space here. And imagine that we have situation when we have uh, one fragment that goes in this direction. Then we have another fragment that goes in the same direction. And then last fragment that goes also in the same direction. And on the other axis we plot the same fragments. So this is going to be not the same polynucleotide, this is going to be two different polynucleotides and one has uh, inversion. So as you see this fragment would be inverted and uh, the last fragment also goes in the same direction as in this uh, y-axis. So imagine that here we will have uh, A, B and C, D, E and F and G, H and I. And on the other strand respectively we have A, B, C and next fragment as you see would be inverted so D would be here so D E and F and next fragment would be in the same direction as on this axis so this is going to be G H I so now we build a matrix I will speed up a video and here is our finished matrix so st let's start plotting and uh, here we have A and A here so that means we put a dot here so we have a dot here we have a dot in this cell and we have a dot in this cell so this is how we plot fragment ABC and now the interesting part this two fragments and one fragment is inverted on this uh, strand of polypeptide so let's pretend that all these letters stand for the proteins so uh, in this row we would have uh, first dot here and then if we check row E we would have dot here And if we check row F, next dot would be here. And next we have to plot G and we plot it in this cell, H in this cell and I in this cell. So this is exactly what we see on this uh, picture and this is classical inversion. So now I hope if you would see picture similar to this you would know that this is uh, inversion of one fragment. So we do not compare to the same uh, polypeptides. We compare two polypeptides that is very similar, very homologous but one of them has inversion. And we can see it clearly on the picture and of course we can plot uh, uh, this fragment to one of the axes and to the 
other axes and then with uh, another tools we can find which fragment has a inversion and uh, mutation. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.